Before I start this video, I just want to say that I've got a goal for the channel and that's to reach 10,000 subscribers basically as soon as I can, as fast as I can. So if you're enjoying the content and you've not subscribed yet, can you hit the button, press the button, smash the button, help me achieve this goal. It's really appreciated, really means a lot to me. So thanks and enjoy the video. So this one's about 369 being the key to the universe and uh, it's really quite an interesting kind of theory I suppose that I'm pretty sure it was Nikola Tesla that was on about it and there's probably a lot more other people but for me like I mind watching a documentary about it and uh, it, like, it was just really fascinating there was, there was a bit in it like you, you can try this yourself so it's like basically like a, a pyramid kind of triangle and nine was at the top and then it was three and six. So it's basically like three times six is 18. <clears throat> and then like one plus eight is nine kind of thing. Nine times nine is 81. Eight plus one is nine. Six times six is 36. Three plus six is nine. So it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm not sure if it's all like adding it as well, but it's like definitely if you times each number by any of the other numbers, they'll always come back to like three, six or nine. Like so, it's, that sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. You can do it in a wee bit of paper. So like what you do is you times it. So nine times nine is 81, and that gives you an eight and a one, and you add them together, and it comes back to nine. So like six, times three is 18, one plus eight is nine. So it's quite it's quite a cool thing, like a, like a wee experiment to do, because I did it and it was, quite, it was quite interesting to see how far you can go with it. And I'm not sure what he was meaning with it being the key to the universe, but he also was really clever and had a lot going on kind of thing. So for me, I would tend to, to think he knew what he was speaking about. And, if you think about the universe, it is all kind of mathematical and even like numbers or certain numbers that keep reoccurring and like all different things. Like the, I suppose there's like really important numbers as well, like the speed of light, the speed of sound and even like this, the weight of things and uh, there's certain equations and stuff. It's For me, it's just... It's quite a, obviously I'm not like a mathematician or anything, so I can't go into it too deeply. But for me, it was quite a cool documentary. If you, if you type into YouTube, it'll come up. I think there's lots of them. And for me, it was just quite interesting to, to watch it and listen to it and try out the wee experiment and stuff. Like I say, I'm not really much a mathematician. I can barely count in that at times. But uh, it was quite an easy one because it's just like three, six or nine. So you basically just times each one be each one kind of thing and it always it always come back to like the three six or the nine kind of thing so it was quite a cool interesting thing and it does make you think like why is that that the numbers always connect together like that and for Nikola Tesla maybe he was using it in the science that he was doing and like he was on about stuff about the universe and like stuff that that was like this documentary was called like Nikola Tesla three, six, nine, the key to the universe or something. And I'm pretty sure it, it, it said other things, like if you understand like numbers and vibrations, you'll understand the, the universe and things like that. And it was quite like a, quite a strange character as well. Like the stuff, like, yeah, like I'm pretty sure there was certain things. This is no exact, but it was like before he would like enter a building, he would walk around it like three times like and enter it on the, like on the third time kind of thing or getting you know, all strange stuff like that or like you sound probably like it'd be a nightmare to, to, to try and get a long way kind of thing eh? like yeah but but probably eccentric is what the word is kind of thing 
but for me, I quite, I quite find that funny and like interesting and stuff. Uh, I suppose I'm like a wee bit eccentric myself, maybe, maybe not to that extent, but for me, it's definitely quite a cool wee, wee thing you can do yourself and look it up and that. And also, I just really like Nikola Tesla. I think he's like a really interesting guy. And uh, for me, it's definitely something that I would look into more or like to look into more. Uh, sometimes I'm held back with these things, same like with the physics and stuff, because like I'm no, I'm not like a physicist or a, a mathematician, so I'm not gonna go in depth and come up with all this nonsense about again how these numbers all add up to whatever. And I, like I, I just wouldn't go there because I would just like talk absolute rubbish, probably, probably like most likely kind of thing. But uh, it's just a wee short video, just because I came across it and I thought that's quite interesting and quite cool and it's maybe something I'd explore more and uh, I reckon if you, if you like the Dreamkeeper content you'd probably be interested in stuff like that because it's all like numbers and about the universe and probably like the, even numbers or like certain vibrations or like uh, like kind of they say like the universe is all like vibrations and stuff and as even energies, it's all measured in like numbers and stuff. So all the numbers will mean such like certain things and like uh, even like repeating patterns in nature or the, nature. There's always like three of these or six of them or nine of this or again stuff like that. So uh, I just thought I'd do a wee short video just to kind of highlight it more than anything else because obviously I'm, I kind of go in too too deep on it. It's not really my subject the expertise, but I found it interesting and I thought uh, if you've not heard about it, it'd be a good wee shout out to you because it's quite an interesting thing to, to hear about and to watch and even just do the wee kind of experiment with the, the triangle and the three, six and nine kind of thing. Uh, so that's a, this one anyway. So I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.